what's up everybody welcome to the my rc life youtube channel where we do all things rc and a little bit of everything in between let's go What's going on everybody? I'm Traxxas Mike. And I'm Casey Chaos from IRC Life. And we're gonna go ahead and take out the twin technos. Um, as you can see, they're pretty much kind of twins. Newer Ford body, older Ford body. <laughs> A little bit different tires. They both got TP power motors. They're both running a Mac 6. They both got M2C chassis and braces and all that good stuff. Um, he's got a 1200 KV. I got a six, 1600 KV motor. But yeah, um, they're both running Fly Sky uh, receivers and transmitters. And um, they both got T bone front bumpers. Mine's got a T bone back bumper. Casey's does as well, but he wants to keep his Sparker installed for now. So uh, it only goes on the stock bumper um, really easily. So we uh, just left that bumper on there until we figure out a way to get these Flint Sparkers onto a T bone rear bumper. All right, we got to power these up and get ready to go. <laughs> Casey's sparking it up. <laughs> if we just do a nice wheelie, it'll spark really good. Hey, Sparky! Old Sparky. Almost hit each other. Oh, throwing sparks. <laughs> they even throw sparks on the stones, huh? Don't throw stones at this nice lady coming here. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have like 27 of these bad boys. Watch our YouTube channel, My RC Life. <laughs> No sparks that time. Yeah. Oh, this is fun. I need to put more uh, thicker grease in my center differential. Awesome. Did you see what, hear what they said? Awesome. awesome. <laughs> they are. Yeah. Yeah, that, oh, yeah! <laughs> nice! <laughs> Things fast. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Want to do a tandem jump? Nice! <laughs> Barely! <laughs> Don't worry, I broke a shock the other day too. All right, I guess we'll head back to the house. You can drive it home. We'll give it the walk of shame, the drive of shame. So techno number one ain't no number one no more. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello! Oh, this one's name is Pickle, by the way. The girls down there named it Pickle. <laughs> well, you can name your Sparky. Pickle. 
Touch the branches! And touch the branches, people! Pickle! <laughs> Ooh, right on the T-bone front bumper. They are too, and they got awesome, perfect flex where they need it. Double backflip! Off the tree, double backflip, nothing but wheels. <laughs> man it kicked it right off said get that off of me I'm a pickle <laughs> flip back over so easily all right I'm going back inside before I break it Alright, Casey's assessing damage on his truck here. Yeah, that's really the only damage. Shock came out and... Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so the shock came out. Huh? That's what and the problem is. And dog bone. Okay, so what you need to do is uh, find the techno box. Alright, so Casey's got the box for techno stuff. What he's looking for is one of those right there. Okay, show the camera. Okay, we got one of those. Alrighty. Now you notice these have a captured pin or a captured hoop, which means, see it's captured right there? So you gotta take that set screw out of there first. So. And then you kind of got to push, hold onto this and push up on that black round. There you go. And then you got to slide that black piece off of the shaft, like back down like this. Yep, yep, got to pull the spring back. Yep, exactly. You got it. Got to pull the spring off. There you go. Yep. And slide that. Yep. Put that in here. And slide the spring all the way off so it's out of the way. Okay. Then we need to. And get something to hold that shock shaft still. A lot of people really frown on this, but but what I do is I just make sure it's really tight. So, because what happens is this is if this spins in the vice grips, it leaves scarring on the shock. So when this goes up inside the shock, it can scratch up the um, rubber mm -hmm. O-rings and cause it to start leaking. But what I do is I put it down as far as I can, get it decently tight. When then hold on, and then. I'll take like one of these or a screwdriver, even though that's broke, or even just grab it with your hands. Go ahead, just grab it with your hands. It's really, yeah, this way. Really spin it. It's got threads. Mm. Right, like that. Okay. Now the next thing, we gotta find. Where's the ball that goes in here? <laughs> well, yeah, I can't, Stuck I can't in the A-arm, man. Don't try it. Okay, so, <laughs> yep, we need to pop that out. Do you want to use the tool? Yeah, I'm probably good. Okay. It's good to use your hand tools as well. Casey's sticking with the hand tools, which he don't work on stuff a lot, so that's fine if he wants to stick with the hand tools. Okay, then you're gonna have to take this and kind of put it right on there and bop it out the bottom. Where'd it go? <laughs> Did it hit you? Uh, I feel like it went down there somewhere. You didn't feel nothing hit your jeans? No. 
get it. Huh. Now it might just pop in easy. If not, just snap it in with your pliers. Oh yeah, smart. Easy grips, possibly. Oh. I'll use device grips. Well, I could use... Got it. <laughs> Blended right in, huh? Very much so. There we go. Screw it on with your hand first. You can push kind of hard because it don't have no threads in it. It cuts its new oh, threads. Oh, I see. Yeah. That's all stuff you got to learn as you get more into working on stuff. Can you feel it making its own threads now? Yeah. Oh, I got another trick to show you. Let's off the players. Put this oh. right to the center there. You'll feel if it starts to get tight. So you just kind of go slow. And I was that hit as the vice grip's hitting the bottom of it almost not okay. yet does it feel like it's getting tight kind of yeah, real sensitive feel okay is it still moving forward towards the vice grips or is it stripping no oh, that's moving forward i believe it's probably all the way tight is if there's no thread showing it's all the way there okay so that's done now you want to put your spring back on wow, straighten that out a little bit that's fine yep What's well, gonna need to be straight in the end anyways, so. Okay, and you wanna get your thingy on there. Yep, and then I think you can figure that out. Just like that. Don't lose that. Casey! You didn't. It'll show up, found it. Don't lose that one. You found it and you dropped it again instantly. Uh, I am. Man, you're, you're doing what dad does though. You pressed your belly against the <laughs> best. Good. Good going, I, kid. I have a gut now. Yep. I gained like The 30. old belly catch catching a screw move. In the past three months, I've gained 30 pounds. I can tell you uh, definitely hit a little growth spurt. Okay, now the next part is you need to get it back in there. Now, hold on, I got a question for you. Which hole does it go in? This one. Oh, so you kept your eyes. Yes. Peeled. Now, if you don't know, look at what the other shock is on. Yeah, I know, I did. I have. Yep, it'll kind of click down in there. And if you got to put a screwdriver in there and kind of press it, that's fine. Or I think it's some pretty good if I okay. just like start screwing. I think it'll kind of align itself. Or you can even do something like this. Take the screw out for a second. You can like take one of these and see if it goes in there and kind of get it. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Do you want to go to the power tool yeah, yet? Sure. <laughs> Just be careful not to go super fast and buzz it in there and strip it is all. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Push, you're only hitting the back. Yep, you're going, you're no, going. I'm And then you want to fit it? Good boy. And now for the dog bone. I think we do have to take the tire off for that. Oh crap, I forgot about the dog bone. Yeah. I'll show you a nice little trick for the dog bone. Wanna just bend the tire? Nope. Let's take out that bolt right there. Oh. Grab one of those. What was that? Oh. Grab uh, one of those four-way nuts or wrenches. I use the thin end and put it on this nut right there. It's in end. You got the big one. Oh. Yep, that one right there. I do believe it's the right one. Okay. And then you're going to use this on the other end in reverse. Oh, good. Good thinking. Yep, you got to hold that an angle like that. Yeah, you kind of got to like... Yeah, there you go. That's the one I use and kind of pry the bumper down. It's off. You got it off. Now you got to pull that bolt out. There you go. You oh, flex this tire out. Bend it down. Now that the top A arm is... Hold on. Oh, Pop I your see. dog bone in and then flex it back up. Yep, got to turn the tire. Perfect. I'm going to use that. Okay. 
Okay, yeah. I think that's good and tight. All right, kid, check it all out. And you got no extra bolts, so that's a good no, no extra parts. That's, a, that's, a, that's always good. That's the key thing. No extra parts. So that's all good. I think uh, you're all set to go. Yay. All right, guys. So you see, uh, techno number one, simple little problem. Casey took care of it all by himself. Um, we had tons of fun out there. Uh, maybe do some little bit of adjustment on some things on uh, my techno. I want to play with the brake force functions on my controller people. a little bit. And uh, that's about it. So... All right, that's it for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. I'm Traxxas Mike. And I'm Casey Chaos. For, for my, my RC, RC life, life and RCU later. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching another episode of My RC Life. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.